Welcome my viewers and my listeners of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Miner, all the way from Minnesota. I want to thank God for you. I want to thank God for the privilege of sharing his word with you. And I also want to thank you for the time you take to listen, to watch, and even to share these words that I share. And I just do this because I love the Lord and I love you. He loves us all. And so maybe since you woke up, if nobody told you that he loved you, I'm reminding you that God loves you so much that he gave his best, Jesus Christ. I bring you every day words of inspiration Monday through Wednesday, Thursdays, celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence, Fridays, putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I can take a break or bring you random inspirational message. Why I do this? Because God is so good. He has given us the best. Can we be able to give the best? You may ask, really? Do you know what I'm going through? I may not know, but if you are breathing, you have the best because you have the breath of life. Remember, the pandemic came to teach us how breathing is important. So this time, I want to remind you that because we are in November, it's one more month remaining before the year ends. God has already given me the word for the year 2023. The word was given on my birthday eve. My birthday was November 10. November 9, at night, God gave me the word. The word he put in my spirit was perspective. The word perspective. It has different meanings. And I had to look for the meaning of the word perspective. And so I'll be referring to the word in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. And then Romans 8 verse 28, which is the, where the mission statement for celebrity a moment comes from. We are going to start with a word of prayer. You could be far, you could be near, but we thank God because of technology, we can be able to reach each other. And God is good. Let's start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for the privilege of sharing your word. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this hour. Thank you for this month. Thank you for this fire you have brought us in the year of 2022. As it's coming to an end, I thank you because you've not been silent to my soul. You have ministered to me and you have whispered a word for the year 2023. And here I am, generously sharing with your people for you've given me freely and freely I'm giving it out. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, O God. May I speak speak in a way that my viewer and my listener will be able to comprehend and meet them at the very point of their needs. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. This is what the Bible says in Philippians 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. I'm going to stop there. What is the word? What is the meaning of the word perspective? I'm yet to know why God gave me that. But one of the meaning of the word perspective is a particular attitude towards or regarding something or a point of view. Me onere ya maudu, kana me shireri ya maudu, if I were to say in my mother tongue. Another way you can say perspective is, is the way you see something or things. Oh, a way of thinking about or understanding something. Okay? A good example is, history is written from the editor's or author's perspective. Now, the Apostle Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. We used to sing a song. Rejoice in the Lord of and again I say rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice, 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 
And again I say rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. And again I say rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Perspective, the attitude or the way you see things. Something very good could be taken in a negative perspective and that thing or that well, those words stab somebody may become a stubborn block. When you are full of positivity, according to Romans 8, the 28, I think I better read those words and I know God will bless us. And all these words I'm reading from New King James Fashion. Romans, Romans 8, verse 28. Romans 8, Romans 8, 28. Here comes, hallelujah. And thank God, this is what the Bible says. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. All things. The way you see things, perspective. In the year 2023, perspect your perspective and how you see things will matter. When you know that all things work together for good to them that love God and for sure, if you love God, then you know whatever happens to you, it happens with a reason. It may seem like it is bad from a human perspective or from a human the way a human see things. But for God, it is with a good reason. A good example I will give you. When Jesus was with his disciples and he went away and he was tired and he sat, he, he just sat down. And uh, while he wanted to sit down, he saw a woman throwing water, the Samaritan woman. And as a result of him being tired and separating himself with, from the disciples, this woman, Samaritan woman, got deliverance. Not only her, but even the family she had messed up. She became an evangelist in that village. Say, come and see a man who has told me all things. Just like you can see that. Johnny Muone Yesu Yumwim. Johnny Muone Yesu Yumwim. O ka messi, o ka messi, o ka messi, oh that is God is good. O ka imone, jesu ni mwega. O ka imone, jesu ni mwega. When you have the positive attitude, nothing will ever bother you. I want to give you a good example. David, a shepherd boy, sent by the father to go and look or check on his brothers. And he was not also sent empty-handed. He was given some food to take to them. And when he went, a chance arose, and he heard the Israelites were being blasphemed. By the Philistine, the uncircumcised Philistine, as David called him, Gorian. David did not just see a giant. He saw an opportunity that God could use to glorify himself. So, perspective. Perspective will see, will see obstacles as opportunities. When you have a positive attitude, whatever happens, whatever is meant for bad, you turn it around. The way you see things, the way you interpret things. May the year 2023, as we are about in less than two months, in one month and a half, we will be adding the year 2022 
and remember from the beginning of the year, I started sharing the word that God had given to me. That the year 2022 is the year of taking over. I don't know what you have taken over. I don't know whether you have taken over your negativity and turned it to positivity. But I want to remind you, your perspective matters in the year 2023. How you'll be seeing things. How you'll be taking things. How you, you'll be taking advantage of every opportunity that comes. Every message that you hear and you say, Lord, this is mine. You'll be learning with it. When you learn with it, you'll be able to know that where others see obstacles, you'll see opportunities. Where others see negativity, you'll be seeing positivity. Where others see like they are being hated, you'll be seeing a place where God can show himself as the ultimate lover of your soul. Perspective. December 10th. We'll be having our every three months meeting, which you know, we normally bring you the third Saturday of the month. But because of Christmas activities, we have moved it a little bit uh, earlier to December 10th. You have no reason to miss if you are far because it's going to be via Zoom. The flyers will be coming out and follow. Uh, you'll be able to get the way to, to log in, to sign in. It will be 11 a.m. Central Standard Time to 2 p.m. I have a servant of God who is an author, who has authored a book, The Secret and Power of Praying the Lord's Prayer. You don't want to miss that. We'll also be blessed by one of my mentees, Pastor Aiden Ogoro. Because God is in the midst of doing things. If you take it in a very positive perspective. If you only see a small boy, a small young boy in a negative way because you are a man or because you are a woman who is 70 years or whatever age, you'll be taking it in a very negative way and not in a positive perspective. You can miss the blessings. This young man, let me tell you, he is so much organized. When he's trying to share, then you can tell for sure it froze. So get ready. Perspective. What has been your perspective? What has been your way of taking things? What has been your attitude in seeing things, in thinking things? When somebody calls you, you just think, oh, they are just about to ask me money. They are just about to bother me. When you feel your body, it does not feel like it's want to wake up. When you have a positive attitude, you can say, oh, I'm feeling tired, but because all things are possible to them that believe it, I am going to wake up and do what I'm supposed to be doing in Jesus' name. The way you see things, that can change your life either for good or for bad. David saw an, an, an obstacle. There was an obstacle, but he saw it as an opportunity to glorify his God and for sure, God did it. God will act on our faith. The ripple of faith, like the, the baby step of a child that starts to stand up. As a mother of three, I know what it means. When they start to make their first step to stand up. And all of a sudden, they fall down at their head by the corner of the, you know, of the table. They start crying. Those kids don't give up. When you have the right perspective, you are not going to be giving up in life in Jesus' name. Because you know there is something better ahead of this obstacle in Jesus' name. It's like when you are heading somewhere, you are on a trip, and you see there is a, a roadblock. You cannot stop, otherwise you are going to miss it. My brother, my sister, I do not know how you have been seeing things. I do not know what you want. Another person who had a positive attitude or a different perspective was Caleb. And as God gave me the word for 2022, the story of Caleb and the Israelites was very significant. Same case with this time of perspective. Since God wants no times or has been impressing in me that there are things that we think we cannot be able to do it, but we can do it. We can do it. With God, all things are possible. You can arise and shine because your time has come. Don't tell me you are old. I just turned 60. And I don't feel 60 because of God. When I walk, the joints can tell me I'm 60. But my spirit tells me I am well able. Just like Caleb said at age 65, he said, when God gives us the instruction, 
I was 40 and I feel oh as young and as strong as I was because God has an assignment for you in the year 2023 God has assignment have an assignment for you if you did not take over in the year 2022 remember uh, listen to me my brother my sister oh there is an assignment for you. Caleb said, give me this mountain. I am well able. God is telling you, there is more mountains to be captured. There are more people, there are more young people to be mentored. There are more young men to, to have who are desiring, who are crying for father figures. My brother, my sister, where are you? What are you doing? Can you change your perspective and tell God, Nibadirishie mawazo yangu. Nisaidie mokozi. And you tell him, I cannot make it without you. And because I cannot make it without you, I just want to give it all to you. Give him all. The things that you have been thinking, they have been a, you know, a hindrance to you. Give it all to Jesus. Can you be able to tell him, I am giving all to you. I'm going to sing this song, and I know God will bless us together. I give it all. Hallelujah. Let's see what I'm going to pray. We give it all to the Lord. And then you get the peace and the joy. Give them all unto Jesus. Oh, give it all. 
all to Jesus. We take everything for the glory of God and no matter the challenge that will come, the mountain and the valley, as long as you know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and you have changed your perspective, it will be well with you. You'll be having peace in the midst of the storm and people will be wondering, wow, really? And when you share what you have gone through, can you imagine David just a shepherd boy. He was being blasted by his elder brother. But he did not. He did not just take it like anything. You know the enemy would like you. Everything that you hear. It breaks you down. My brother, my sister. Looking unto Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. Can take every negativity in our life. And we'll be able to pursue our dream. Our vision. Do not lose the vision of he who has called you. Just like the singer sang and said. Don't lose your vision of Jesus. Ever keep your eyes on him. For many friends and their loved ones have frost their way, they have wrought their vision of him. Many may lose their vision of the heavenly journey because of many things they go through, or they have seen, or they have heard, or they have touched. But you have that positive perspective. And for you to remain focused, you must get away from people who are always negative. You know, there are some people, there is nothing good they'll ever see from anything. January, they see wagi. February, makona wagi. December, mak you know, stop it. Perspective matters. Your perspective matters. And I'm going to end there. I'll be sharing as the Lord guides me. Again, this is the word that God has given me for the year 2023. And I'm sharing it with you. God will cut it. I'll be bringing as the Lord guides me uh, before we uh, enter the new year in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I adore you for your goodness and for your mercies have given your word. Should there be anyone that have read it that you do not want your people to hear? May you feel tired, dear Father, that only that which you wanted them to hear, that will stick into their hearts, Lord. Holy Spirit, what are those words that they may be able to bring for the encouragement to my viewers and my listeners, for the glory and honor of thy name, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now, Caleb had other people who they had gone to spy the land. Freaking out. You must not freak out because of what you hear people say. The other people they had gone with, they saw the people that in that place promised round. They were like giant. And they saw themselves like grasshoppers. You must not have the grasshopper mentality in Jesus' name. And it will call you as an individual to decide. I am deciding to follow Jesus. I am going to decide. And I'm purpose. I'm going to be purpose to be of a positive perspective. You must make that decision. You, yourself. So you are there. You have never given your life to the Lord. Because that is where it all starts. Would you like to pray so that you can be transformed from a sinner to a saint, from a doubter to a person of confidence, from a person of negativity to positivity? 
if you are in that category would you like to say this prayer of repentance after me say lord jesus thank you for your word forgive me where i've been focusing on on always the negative now i repent and first lord i prayed that you may forgive me my sins and light my name in the book of life oh lord and give me a desire to grow spiritually thank you for saving me in jesus name Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come because the Bible says, Behold, if any man is in Christ, is a new creature. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. But I want to remind you, two things are important. Testimony of what has happened in your life and also joining a group of believers where you'll be able to grow because is to get in togetherness when you hear the testimony of what your brother or your sister have gone through even before you share you say really oh my goodness and then the word in first corinthians 10 will be fulfilled that no temptation that comes to you that is not common to man but god is faithful who will not let you be tempted beyond your ability but with the temptation he'll make a way for you to escape so may the lord god bless you i love you god loves you the most Say I hold up. I'm gonna remind you again of my weekly schedule. Monday through Wednesday, I bring inspiration word. That's this celebrating in the kitchen with the pastor Florence. Fridays, putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I can take a break or bring you random inspirational messages. Stay tuned. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to share with others whom you have the contact and I don't have them. And remember to celebrate every moment. Not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Because every moment matters. Every moment counts.